Yo, welcome back, you terrific tiki torches. We are in the Fuego Temple. Hey, don't you be ruining my intro, or else you get the slice and dice. All right, so this is the first major temple. Let's see how many extra checks there are now that we have pot sanity and freestanding item on. There's gonna be stuff over there. I already know it. Let's start by freeing the Goron. Here you go, buddy. You giant lump of lump and lumps. I love this Goron's lumps. I wonder if how he gets out of here, because I don't think Gorons can jump. I'm sure he figures some way out. Can I? Here, I think I can just do a good old shwigga wigga 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 wigga. And then another shwigga wigga 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 wigga. That's awesome. I love that for us. I'm wondering what color the other tunics are. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, come on. Let's get this. Ooh, fairy, uh. Skulti, Skulti. And another Skulti. And then we die. <laughs> oh, I should have bottled one of those fairies. It would have saved our life. As far as pot sanity goes, the pots that hold fairies are not randomized. They remain as fairies. There's no fairy sanity on. Which is very lame. These rooms suck without fire tunic. It puts us under such a rush. I don't like being rushed. I like being able to take my time. It feels better that way. Hmm. It is nice and toasty in here though. I feel very warm. My skin is being cooked up like I'm a rotisserie chicken. You know, I know you don't have to talk to the Gorons to let them free, but for some reason they don't es escape unless you talk to them. They need like permission or something. Oh great. We love our recovery hearts. I did not realize how many freestanding recovery hearts this game had until playing this mode. It's kind of insane. Is this a... Oh wait, that's sinking. Ow. I thought it was gonna raise up. How do I get up here? I know there's like a little alcove up there. Is it through right here? Get up, come on. Yeah, that's right. No, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Okay, we got it. We got it. <laughs> Before we got the flame. Link has turned into the human torch. Okay, I went ahead and put a fairy in a bottle. That way we can survive a little bit longer. I think doing fire temple without fire tunic is technically out of logic like they wouldn't expect you to go to this length but I'm just gonna do it anyways because we might find other useful stuff that might help us in other scenarios might as well right I do the fire keys used to stress me out in this room so much when I was a kid I, I don't know why like they're not even like that bad of enemies they don't do much I feel like ice keys are way worse because they freeze you and that's super annoying Not perfect. I was also surprised by how many of you didn't know that you can nut on bomb shoes to make them explode earlier. It's a fun little strategy for sure. Yeah, get out of here, get out of here. Go do your thing, whatever that is. Rolling around at the speed of sounds. Aha. Uh -huh. Last episode, we got the long shot and hook shot, which is awesome. I'm trying to think if that even does that much for us. Overall, I don't think so. Like it does once we get other stuff, but I think just the hook shot alone doesn't really do a whole lot. Except being able to get some skull to the tokens. That's probably the best thing. It opens up a lot more skull to the tokens. So scratchy boys, here we come. None of you are safe. 
What's up here? Surely there's some good good. Good thing we got the fairy. No! That song was a fool! Hey, the ice should have made us last longer. That's pretty much the same thing as wearing a Goron tunic. Being encapsulated by ice? Hello. Makes perfect sense to me. Okay, let's get over to the other side. We're gonna have to do a fierce balancing act. Go. Don't ruin this. Whew. That was really... <laughs> ah! That wasn't good. Okay, whatever. Let's let's hurry it up. Let's try to get up to the upper room before we die. Don't do it. Don't dive bomb me. Okay, go, go, go. Hey, whoa, the keys took a ride with us. He was a homie for a second. He was just trying to give us a little kiss. A little bat kiss. It's like butterfly kisses. Blah, 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 blah. Those enemies are so gross. I bet they smell like sulfur. Uh, there's a locked door up at the top again, isn't there? Am I going to be able to hit this with a bomb shoe? We'll see how this, how well this works. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't think we're going to get any further than this. So, let's leave the fire temple. I think the best thing for us to do from here is to just take the shortcut over to the Lost Woods. How much can we do in the Lost Woods? Eh, I don't think much, because we can't get past Mido. He's here still being the worst. Uh, can't dive down there yet. Oh, there is something we can do. It is so freaking foggy in here. I don't know if I've ever seen the Lost Woods this foggy. I can barely see where I'm going. I need to find that one guy. So I'm wondering how this works, because normally there's two different people here. It's the girl. We're going to give her this potion. So you give it to her instead and she trips on the hallucinations. She loves her forest mushrooms. Well, that sucks. Bum, 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 bum. Is there much we can do in Kokiri Forest as an adult? I don't know if there's any major differences. There is some items like, whoa, hey, dude, you need to back off. Yeah, fall. Okay, there's some stuff up here. Anything useful? Just scroll to the tokens. Another, I think that's a fake song. I think if it's upside down, it's fake. I believe we need to plant some magic beans to get over there, but we need to find those first. Whoa! The Octorok can hop! Jeez! Ow. I can't be bullied. I think there's somebody back here. Whoa! Surprise sign attack! <laughs> when you're just trying to roll and then you talk to something that you don't mean to. Uh, here's the little bitch boy. Found him. Come to me. Come to me. That's right. That's the huge pit room. Yeah. Link loves a huge pit. Hmm. Where are we going next? I also need to remember that now that we have the hook shot, we can break beehives. This is my first time really doing a beehive sanity by myself, so I haven't really gotten into the groove of doing beehives. I've been a little bit overwhelmed with the options on this randomizer, so I will have to like, you know, revisit places every once in a while. Oh yeah, the pose. Oh no. I'm not sure how many of those we have to collect yet. 
We should go talk to the Poe dude and see how many he wants us to collect. I'm hoping it's just like a couple, because if I have to get all 10, I'm going to be so mad. That takes so much time to do. Okay, he's just going to watch us as we explode ourselves. There we go. I don't know if there's anything down here for us. There's a spider. Can I get him right now? No, he's being protected by a web of steel. Oh, no, he's not. Never mind. <gasps> Fire tunic! Or Goron tunic, if you want to be more technical. Was the color, like, a light red? <laughs> it looks like somebody put bleach in the washing machine when doing the laundry and caused it to fade. I like this color, though. It looks a bit more peachy. I'll keep it on for a bit. I think I prefer the pink tunic, but this is a pretty nice color. I'm really a fan of pastel colors, especially wearing pastel colors, because it makes me look a bit more tan. I don't know how that happens, it just does. Okay, so... <laughs> Whenever I say okay, so, it sounds like I'm talking about queso. Mmm, melted cheese. I don't know how I miss these pots. They were like so out in the open. They were too out in the open. Sometimes when something's too obvious, when it's like right in front of your face, you just overlook it. That always seems to happen when I'm looking for something like my keys or my wallet. Did we miss anything important? Ooh, invisible spike room. That's, <laughs> that just sounds terrifying. Water temple key. Nothing too important, but you know, gotta check everything just in case. I hope Dompe is doing well. I hope he's in high spirits. <laughs> oh, question mark? Does he want to get mad? You've got an ocarina? What the heck? That reminds me of the time seven years ago. It was a good time. He loved it. All right, gotta get the fitness. <laughs> okay, yeah, Link has been slack and you can tell. He can't run faster than the spinning platform. I think now we can play the shooting range. I think we were able to last time, but <laughs> I just didn't really think about it. Damn, homie looks like he's DTF. Whew. It's a little bit of a quick reaction time right there. Look at the cactus painted in the background. That's the only thing they painted in the background. Got too lazy to paint literally anything else. Damn, I am just too good at this game. What can I say? And we got our money back. What type of animal is that on the wall? Why is there a leopard? Dude, where did you find a leopard? I've never seen a leopard in Ocarina of Time. We went to some random jungle. Hmm. I did miss a beehive up in the cow room. Let's go get that. Okay, our first beehive. Hopefully it's a lucky beehive. No! At least there wasn't bees inside. That's nice. It's a dormant beehive. Is that the only one? Did I walk all the way up here for a singular beehive? Alright, Bessie. Where did the bee put down? Oh, okay, I feel, I feel bad about doing that now. You didn't see that. No. Speaking of beehives, I ate a spoonful of honey before today's recording session because my throat was kind of feeling weird and raspy and the honey helped a lot like my voice is feeling so much better the reason i thought of it is i was watching a tiktok and there was this dude who had the most beautiful voice i had ever heard it sounded like a podcast voice and he was talking about how his favorite food was honey and i was like does he have a beautiful voice because he eats a lot of honey 
And so that reminded me that maybe I should eat more honey if I want my voice to be more beautiful. Because <laughs> I want you guys to think my voice is beautiful. <laughs> Do you guys think my voice is beautiful? Please say yes. Okay, let's go. Oh, here he is. What's up with the recovery heart? Okay, that wasn't a beautiful voice. I apologize for that. That is a nice piece of wood. For some reason, I thought the sun is supposed to rise on that side. Is it going backwards? Quatson had a few too many tonight. It's okay. It happens. He'll bounce back. Make sure to get your electrolytes, Quad Sun. All right, Mr. Weirdo. That's the best name I have for him. Oh, no, we have to get eight of the big pose. That's gonna suck. I think these pots are separate from the Young Link pots. They are. Okay, we get a lot more freebies right here. Did that pot not have anything? I've been bamboozled. Okay, some of the pots have stuff, some don't. A shtick. I don't like the dry pots. I want every pot to reward me. Okay. That wasn't anything too special. I was expecting something good with how many pots there was, but... No, I guess not. I do believe we can get a Skultula over near Ganon's castle now that we have the hook shot, though. Let's just make sure not to get touched by the Redeads. Because they want to touch us in places we don't want to be touched. And I'm not here for that. Ganon's castle looking like a multi-layered wedding cake up here. But for like an evil person. <laughs> That's what I want my wedding cake to look like. I want it to be a replica of Ganon's castle. That means I have to get married to a Zelda fan, I guess. I guess I don't, they don't have to be a Zelda fan. It would probably be more convenient if they at least knew a little bit. It's like always the kind of like weird thing as dating as a gamer. Sometimes I go on dates with people and then I ask like, yo, what video games are you into? And they're like, I don't really play any video games. And internally, I'm like, I'm okay with it, but also there's gonna be a huge disconnect. <laughs> like, I'm telling you right now. Because I'm not sure if you guys knew, but I play a few video games. You probably did not, you probably didn't know that. All right, let's get out of this dinky, musty place. And what would be the next best place to go to? Trying to think about it. There's not much we can do inside Hyrule Fields. We have a grotto over here, which normally we get a heart piece. I'm trying to think if there's freestanding items out here. We might need iron boots for it, but I can't remember exactly. We are starting to get somewhat to the point of the randomizer where we're running out of super easy checks. Things are drying up a little bit. Not in this room, but with the randomizer pool. Oh, just a single green rupee. <laughs> you think you're rich, huh? Well, you don't know nothing. That, that tech type always cracks me up, though. <laughs> he seems like he's so serious, but it's like, what is he going to do? Unless he's like Macaulay Culkin, and he set up a bunch of booby traps to freaking take us out. If we would have walked a little bit more forward, an iron would have swung from the ceiling and scalded us on the face. But luckily, we didn't fall for it. Go away, Poe. Doesn't even count as capturing them unless you get them all riding Epona. Which is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. Yes, the music. It makes me want to dance. Ba -da 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 -da. 
Also, for any of you living in the Southern LA area, especially the Los Angeles area, I'm going to be hosting an event on January 6th. And it is going to be open for anybody to come to. From 3 to 8 p.m., it's going to be a versus game show where people from the audience could be contestants. And then after that, we're going to turn it into a video game nightclub experience where we have DJs play a lot of like video game remixes and stuff, have some games and dancing and such. So if you are interested in that, stay tuned because I will have a lot more information as the series goes on. So we have the membership card for the Gerudos. <laughs> So that means we're safe, right? We don't have to sneak around. We get to go through guns a blazing. Or swords a blazing. My bad, my bad. Zelda games don't have guns. And that's kind of why I like them. Because I'm really bad at first person shooters. I'm not really bad, but I'm I'm not good at first person shooters. All right, there's a lot of stuff for us to do here. And we can go inside the Gerudo training grounds. That's right. And this place is going to be bountiful. We're about to get everything that our heart desires. There's also lots of pots as well. So let's start breaking them apart. What was that before we picked it up? I couldn't even see it. Are the crates here good? They act the crates actually have something, believe it or not. What's up? Why are you in jail? There's some like submissive stuff going on here. You want some Gerudo mommies to dominate you? I mean, who doesn't? She got that S stance. Ooh, she got nothing on me. All right, we can free a single carpenter because we have one key. You're a lucky man. Ichiro. He doesn't give us nothing, except he crop dusted us on the way out. Freaking nasty ass. What about these crates? Nothing. Gotta check them all just to be safe. So we're gonna have to be very thorough with this place. Make sure I don't miss anything. Oh. The indoor crates do have stuff. Outdoor crates, not so much. It's gonna be fun. You know, the wallet can pop out any minute now. Any minute. Crystalizer, Crystalizer! She has nothing interesting to say. I wish you could have better conversation with these girls. We're gonna break. Stop it. They all say the same thing. They're a broken record player. Do I gotta get on the chair first? Yeah. It's like so hard to hit the pauses that don't link sometimes. Another treasure box shop key. Can we taste their soup? Is it good soup? Well, we got rupees for going in the soup. Oh, that kind of hurts us slowly. I wonder if it's hurting us more slow because we're wearing the Goron tunic. The Goron tunic, it protects you from lava and from soup. I'm busting out, so you better get this party started. Damn, I'm gonna get so lost in this place. There's so many doors to go through. <gasps> Silver scale! That's what's up. That lets us get quite a few things, huh? We're gonna be diving in the deep. Is there a point to fighting all the Gerudo ladies right now? Because we can't open the cages. We don't have the key. I guess it 
is going to fight them because the Gerudos are the ones that give us the item. Technically, I don't know if we even need to save the Carpenters. No, I think you do get an item from saving all the Carpenters at the very end. And if we want to fix the bridge, even though I have the long shot, I don't need to fix the bridge. I need to remember to use my shield. That's like my <laughs> New Year's resolution for this new year, is to use my shield more often. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are all really happy to hear that. And will I actually follow through on that? We'll definitely see. No, that can be today's comic question of the day. What is your New Year's resolution for 2024? One of my other main ones is to start uploading a lot more shorts of funny moments to YouTube. I feel like I have a lot of funny moments on my channel that can be made into shorts. I've already kind of started, but I really want to like start doing it for my older moments and clips as well. Finding a lot of hearts. All right, sorry, dude. You got to stay in jail. I can't do nothing. <laughs> Last episode's comic question, I asked you guys if you went to a club and the DJ could only play music from a single artist, what artist would you choose? And you know, thank you to all of you who sucked up to the commentator and said Lil Tall, having a full night of Lil Tall music. I think that would be awesome, personally. It'd practically be like having a Lil Tall concert, which is probably my other... <gasps> yes! Yes, we got the adult wallet. This is the best episode ever. We'll be able to start actually buying stuff from Shop Sanity now. But one of my other New Year's resolutions for this year is to go on a small little tall tour. I would love to do that. Just like spend a month and go to like 12 different cities across the US. I would start in the US, definitely got to start in my own country. I really want to do that. And I guess technically I don't have enough music out right now to fill a whole entire night at a club. Oh, dang it, she got me. But if I let the DJ play music that I have that's unreleased, then I would. Because I have like almost 40 unreleased songs as Lil Tall now. And I'm still just like, I have to roll them out, you know? Gotta finish them completely because I don't want to release songs that aren't fully polished up and everything. But yeah, it'll eventually happen. Eventually, we'll be, get to have a full night of Lil Tall music and it's going to be an amazing night. This person said My Chemical Romance, which honestly, I would be so down for that. I have like half of the My Chemical Romance discography memorized by heart because I listened to them so much in high school when I was going through more of my emo phase. And that would just take me the heck back. Someone said Avicii. We got Duran Duran, Kanye West and Frank Ocean, uh, Lady Gaga. I think Lady Gaga would be great. She has such a large discography of songs. There'd be so much variety there. A uh, Daft Punk, that'd be really cool. I'd be down for that. Linkin Park, also taking me back to my high school years. A lot of variety with that music. We have Rihanna. I think Rihanna is probably one of the best dancers. Her music is like meant for the club. <laughs> Turn up to Rihanna while the whole club freaking wasted. Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Like, bra bra bra. Can I shoot the chest from up here? I don't think so. Oh, uh, we have Janelle Monet, Bass Hunter. Uh, the worst answer I got is Imagine Dragons. Because, <laughs> like, imagine dragging these balls across your face. Seriously. And I'd. <laughs> I don't know why, but I find Imagine Dragons music to be kind of cheesy. Like, I like Imagine Dragons, but also like, eh. I, uh, <laughs> it's crazy that I was using my shield earlier and I still got put down like a dog. All right. That's right, that's right. I pitted a fool. Oh, na 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 na, come on. Come on, come on. Gerudo Fortress is really fun with Paw Sanity turned on. I'm having a much better time since there's a lot more checks for us to find here now. This has been great. Uh, I'm gonna jump down here next and go inside this door.
This is the last fight. And we got some pots and boxes. Look at us, able to collect more than 99 rupees. We're growing up. We finally got the wallet that matches our identity. More skull. Oh, I need to up this skull to the counter. Falling behind. Whoa, is there pots in this jail cell too? We're getting spoiled in this room. What's that? The poster saw. That's cool. It's been a pretty good spot. Ow! Brr. Brr. All right, let's fight the last Crudo. Mm-hmm. I know that's right. They're almost up to 30 already. All right, sorry, Carpenters. Gotta be jailbait a little bit longer. All right, I think last thing to do is to get the chest in the very, very top. Which is gonna be the grand finale of the fortress, right? It's gonna give us something really good. You know, you know, like the bow or, you know, like the Megaton hammer or, I don't know, like maybe a song note. That'd be really nice. You can just reach all the way over with the long shot. Don't even need Pierre. And. <laughs> yeah. Yer. Yippee ki yay, mother trucker. All right. Well, I believe that is going to be the end of this episode. Make sure to hit thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I know you did. If you made it this far, you better have enjoyed it. Better not be hate watching over 30 minutes into my videos, I swear to God. And then the next episode, we'll see what happens in the Gruta training grounds. Take care. Bought it on a hundred, suck over the goose. Climbing up the rock of a tree, up a tower. Playing in the rain, in the storm, in the shower. Fun a crack and a drive for the lightning. Fun of clouds, getting mad frightening. In the fields, the trails, the forest.